let's solve this um, equation. Notice it's an exponential equation, which means I have a variable in the exponent right there. I have to get, <clears throat> I have to solve for that t, but I can't solve for that t until I somehow get that t out of the exponent, and that's why we have logarithms. So I'm going to take the log. I'm going to take the log of both sides of the equation. Now notice when I take the log, let me keep the point in here. That's a point one zero. I'm, what I'm doing when I take the logarithm of both sides is I'm taking the log base 10. That's the default base of a logarithm. Okay, I'm taking the log base 10. And the reason I do that is because now I can take this exponent, because that one rule, that one property of logarithms, I can take that down to the front. So here's my new equation. Negative 3t, let me make that look a little bit, a little bit nicer. Negative 3t times the log base 10 of 4 equals the log base 10 of point 10. Now point 10 is just 1 tenth, right? Which is also 10 to the negative 1. So what's the log base 10 of 10 to the negative 1? What do I do with the negative 1? Whoops. What do I do with that negative 1 right there? Let me write this out. What's the log base 10 of 10 to the negative 1? Negative 1. That negative 1 comes down and that goes away because of the properties of logs. So this all just equals negative 1. And now, how do I deal with this right here? Remember, I want to get t by itself. The way I get t by itself, I'm going to make it green so you can see it, is I get rid of the 3 and the log base 10 of 4. How do I get rid of the negative 3? I should have said negative 3. Divide. I divide it because it's being multiplied by the t. How do I get rid of the log base 10 of 4? Divide. Divide it because it's being multiplied. So really, these are just both factors that I need to divide out. So my answer is just t equals negative 1 over negative 3 times the log base 3 of 4. And by the way, this is just some number. The log base 10 of 4 just means 10 to what power equals 4. So it's some decimal. If you, if, if they want a decimal approximation, just very carefully plug this whole thing into your calculator and you'll get the decimal approximation. If they want it in exact notation, then this is what you would leave it. Well, actually, what can I do with the negatives? Cross them out. Yeah, the negative divided by negative is positive. So the simplest form, if they want an exact answer, is 1 over 3 log of 4 or you don't have to write the 10 in there because it'll be assumed but that's what you can write that's how you do that problem gotcha